This is going to be a really quick tip about a new feature in Sage 50 2018. They've added the ability um, to add a clear date column for the cash disbursements journal and the check register, which are in with your accounts payable reports. Now it works the same way on both reports. I'm just going to use the check register. So if we're looking at this report, just double clicked on it and then you hit the columns button. This is where you can choose which columns appear on any report. We're going to go all the way to the bottom, and you see we have a new choice here for clear date. If you check the show, the show box on there and click OK, then you've got the date here, and that was the last column. If you don't want it to be the last column, then back here in the columns window, you can select it and use the move up or move, to, move down buttons to rearrange your columns in the order that you want. And that's all it takes to get the clear date to show on your check register or your cash disbursements journal. Um, now, if you want it to always come up that way, you would click the Save button and give it a new name. So, check register with clear date. And you can save that. And now that will show up in your list of reports. And the original report will still be there unchanged also. Now, if you care enough to put that on your reports, you probably want to know where this date comes from. Well, that date is always going to be the statement ending date uh, that was used in the reconciliation when that payment was marked as cleared. So, let me click close there. And let's go here on banking. We're going to reconcile accounts. We'll pull up the regular checking. So if you only reconcile once a month, then your statement ending date is always going to show up as the clear date for all of your for all of your your payments. Um, if you do a daily reconciliation or a weekly reconciliation, like a lot of people are doing now, since they have access to that information through their bank's website, then um, whatever the statement date is set to, when you mark a transaction as cleared is what is going to be the uh, what's going to be the cleared date for that check so if we mark a couple of checks cleared here we can see that so we've got it set to March 8th and there's our two checks we marked cleared we click OK and it's asking are we sure we want to save it with a statement ending balance of zero we'll say yes normally you would have an ending balance in there when you're doing the reconciliation I go back to my reports and pull that up, and we can see that now 10201, 10202 have that March 8th date on them. So, you know that if you want to have the actual clear date, then you would have to do a daily reconciliation in order to get the actual clear date to appear um, on the on the check register or the cash disbursements journal. Um, if all you care about is what month it cleared in, then continuing with the monthly reconciliation will be fine. Now one thing to keep in mind too is that if you come back in later and you do another weekly reconciliation, and we'll add two more checks on there, and if one of the other checks get uncleared and recleared, that's going to reset the date on those, the clear date on those checks. You can see that right here. That now 10202 has the 15th on it, just like 203 and 204 does. Now, one other thing I did try to see if we could get the actual clear dates on there was in the reconciliation window. There's this import button up here, and using that, if you happen to be at one of these few financial institutions here you can import directly but for most people you can select either a QFX or OFX file uh, that you've downloaded from your bank and import that to automate the reconciliation process. I was hoping that Sage 50 would pay attention to the the clear dates uh, that um, are in that file but you know, the same thing happened is when you cleared them manually. It, whatever the statement ending date is, 
up here, that's the date that gets tagged as the clear date for those checks. So that's pretty much it. That is uh, one of the new features in Sage 50 2018 that I think isn't it's not life-changing, but I think uh, a lot of people will find that useful to be able to have that information on reports.